Okay, mice is so dark. Wow, that's why. Um, right. Uh, what was the hot key again to? This is even the right direction. It is right. I mean the numbers are increasing, so that's making sense. Um, if I sound a bit confused, that is because I I am confused. Oh wow, you don't see anything. I just I just noticed. Oh wait. Why? Why did it switch? Is it because I pressed the full screen button? Huh. It's horrible. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's been a while since Since I played on uh, on 2B, um, I finally looked again in 2 board to wait the the Q tool and made it work. And by made it work, I just mean it, it just works now. I guess some update fixed my issues. That's what I was hoping for. Um, I, te I tested 2 board to wait like in the very early development state. Uh, where possibly like all the developers were using Windows or whatever. I have no idea. Um, anyways, I finally got it working, so that's what got me back to to be because it's it's often kind of inconvenient for me to to launch, you know, launch the the client and wait in the queue. That's where to board to wait helps but i feel like the next time i will miss my entry point and i just die afk or whatever we will see about that we will see about how that turns out in case you have no idea what i'm talking about there's a tool written in javascript uh, it's it's freely available on github it's called two board to wait like two board to wait you know it's like it's a joke because two b two t and like two b two w um, uh, anyways, and that's like a it's like a proxy, so it connects it connects to the server, and then you connect to the tool, and then it proxies your traffic through. So this can like run on you know on your smart fridge, which is always online, and then your PC does not have to be online. And it like also has a web interface, so I can be uh, mobile and on my phone I can go to the website that I expose publicly and I'd be like, yo, join 2B2D now. And then a few, later, um, a few hours later when I arrive at home, I can connect to the, uh, to the proxy server, which is then taking over. So to say anyways it doesn't make any sense i I'm, I'm actually not really trying to explain the tool here like who cares anyways if it made some sense to you and if you're curious check it out it's called to what to wait and yeah you
Well, it, it makes sense if you have like some server that is running all the time anyways. I'm, I'm hosting it on my uh, vServer and, and that's pretty cool. But since you don't need a open client and you can do it from, from remote, the, the issue for me uh, rises that, whoa, 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 is there a port? Didn't we want to um, exit at some point? Is that you might forget it because it's not your PC that's like in your face launching the or like running the time, um, but it's just like somewhere. Good. Yeah, but I'm really not prepared yet to. What did I even want in your world? Am I missing some stuff? Oh, I, I need a checkpoint right at some point. I mean, I can just make a bed here. Probably not the smartest idea. I should probably even let, yeah whatever. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. Um. Yeah. So that's an issue. I will see how how that goes. And you won't because, like, if I mess it up, there will be no recording. Um, right. So. Um, it's been so long that I... Yeah, I got uh, to what weight working. And also I switched my launcher from multi-MC, which has been, like, macked. Uh, out of date uh, in the AOR since forever so it was time to finally switch to PolyMC which is like the rebellion fork of my launcher project because people hate the author of it and I just really enjoy forks because all the work of the original author which makes the project great is now being maintained by people who have like no clue about the project and they now have like all the control of our project and they get all the fame even though the project is written by someone else that's that's always very nice no i mean um it it really in, in case you didn't get it i was a bit sarcastic over here um i think it's it sucks a bit that people can like take something that is great and add a little addition to it and then fork off and then that whole project they kind of claim the ownership on right because it has their addition and they have it in a repository that they fully control so they become like the main maintainer they become the the person in charge and the person who gets all the you know um how to say all the positive feedback and stuff like that while the person who like empowered the whole project and wrote the whole core concept is now totally off the loop is now like removed from from his own project if if you know what i mean so that's that's really sad uh in my opinion but i guess it makes sense if if it's a cool software project and now it's it's taking a bad turn or whatever or like it's the only way to to keep it up to date if, if like a new group of people like picks it up um but what happened with multi mc and poly mc I, I, if you have no idea what i'm uh, talking about like multi mc is a custom minecraft client launcher so um you know there's like the launcher by microsoft which the, I mean it, it kind of works but I, I like to replace as much as I can um, of the like Microsoft code with some open source projects because like it's bad enough that I'm running Minecraft itself which actually is borderline open source given that they publish the mappings and it's so heavily reverse engineered and like modded and whatever and old and yeah anyways but the launcher isn't and i really don't need the features that multi mc gives me 
uh, even though they are nice, like for example installing fabric and uh, forge and whatever to install my hex, it's like just a button press, um, so that's kind of cool. But for me it's more about like, I want to replace the proprietary launcher by Microsoft with something that is like open source because I'm, I'm kind of religious when it comes to that. Anyways, so that's why I'm using a custom launcher which is called MultiMC and lately Yorta has been a bit, how to say, not very supportive of third-party publishers of the, of the software. So for example, um, the Arch user repository package, which is like a, a package in the, in the Arch uh, Linux distribution um, package manager what that sentence didn't didn't like finish properly anyways so what i'm saying is like this guy was like yo if you re redistribute my software well I'm, I'm not really supporting you and please only uh, use my releases but then like one person is like kind of limited in on how many places he can release it um, and update it so that's that's what's so great about the Arch user repository, which is like a a way where like literally everybody on the planet can easily publish and update uh, packages, and others can download them like uh, with a very in a very convenient way. So, um, which is no effort if you are if you are on Arch and if you are on into that universe that's all good and, uh, and so on and the author could do that as well uh, but if you're not an Arch user this is like a bit of an overhead and well there are multiple uh, repositories where you can publish stuff right there's also there are also Mac users for example and they have Brew and if you're not on Mac publishing something on Brew I don't know it's like it makes sense to um, allow redistributing your software if it's like free software anyways um, and allow people who are on their systems to publish it on their systems if you, if you know what I mean uh, I didn't follow closely what happened there but there was something about outdated releases and the author not supporting releases on different platforms or like releases like that are not officially and that that kind of sucks and that caused also like the multi MC package to be outdated in the AUR as I told you and that kind of necked me and yeah so that is why I actually switched from multi MC to poly MC I took some time I, I hope the, that it will will be figured out but it seems like the poly MC has like now a a team of a certain size behind it and they are kind of motivated they set up a, a very nice website which is a bit cleaner than the Muti MC's ones and well I, I guess I got uh, catfished or how do you say hun honey potted by a, a more slick web design to to ditch the original author which uh, whose work actually powers all of the launcher anyways um, now we got like two projects, PolyMC, MultiMC, they are competing, they, do, they both do patches and like now every project is lacking something from the other. Awesome. We love it. Competing projects. I don't know, people say that competition is good and all. Uh, I'm not too sure about that sometimes. Um, because then as a user, well, I do have the choice between two products but I also don't have the combination of the two products, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, in some cases you can combine the, produ uh, the products, right? Uh, but yeah, sometimes, like in this case, it doesn't make sense to run, to run and install two launchers. They are pretty much the same. Anyways, so um, since I switched to a new launcher, I had to well, configure my hex again because it is like in a new directory, it's not like fully um, compatible. So I took the opportunity and I updated my Lambda client. So that's a win, but I didn't fully configure it yet. So when I when I did the setup, 
I only did the base configuration of like my um, my X-ray bind, my free cam bind, my uh, auto move like baritone bind, and probably something else. But what I didn't configure is like something less essential, which is for example the hut. I don't see my coordinates, and that's something I should definitely do right now. Um, Oh, I also activated anti-disconnect. Um, back in the times, I had like plenty of stuff activated, and um, yeah, I, I should I should do that again. But I totally forgot the the key to access the configuration UI, um, and I really don't want to press random keys on my keyboard now. Let me go to uh, uh, to GitHub quickly and look it up. I thought it was in the readme. Ah, yeah, open the click GUI, it's Y. Okay. Yeah, I kind of would have guessed that it's something along the lines of Y, but whatever. Oh, that's pretty small for you guys, isn't it? So, what I want, I think the plugin stuff is new, isn't it? Uh, what I want is GUI renderer. How to search again? Just typing? Yeah. Chords log. No. What about hot? No. Gui. No. Um. Has to be a renderer. Activated NTFK. Did I search for HUD? I swear I searched for HUD. This is what we want. Um, here. Duh. What's Pyrotin process? I think that's kind of cool actually. Um,
What? What is server brand? Brand type of the server. Okay. Yeah, I think something along those lines makes sense. It looks a bit bloated, to be honest. Um, let's advertise the client over here. Let's remove the direction, since that one is covered by Baritone. Didn't I also put my coordinates down here at some point? Or the TPS, something we can put down here. Okay, I guess even though it's been a while, we will probably be kicked like any minute since we're in 22 minutes already. Um, but we'll see about that. I'm not sure, like if we survive until uh, 25, should I dare to go to the overworld and finally build a base? Or should I do that next time if it, if it worked today? Yeah, let's see. I think if I if I find a portal conveniently in like three minutes, then then it makes sense to, to, to have a look. Because the last checkpoint, oh dear, it's so old. By the way, where's my heart? Did I deactivate it? Uh, yeah, because the old, uh, the last checkpoint point is so old I have no idea it's like boy we're already at like 1.3 million that's awesome yeah but not even halfway right what was the border 30, 30 million, something like that. Not even halfway. And how many years are we on it? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, uh, I should definitely get a bit more active. So that, yeah, I mean this, like getting half of it finished in this year is kind of feasible, I would say. Okay, so 30 seconds left and then we get 25 minutes in without a kick. Um, maybe the two board to wait uh, proxy we are using is also having a positive impact on us not being kicked. Who knows? I'm curious. 
Can I disconnect now and reconnect? I really want to know it. I I got to know it. Um, I got to know what happens if I disconnect. That's kind of important actually. So wait, stop this. Yeah, this might be the end of the episode and might be kind of stupid, but I, I have to test this thing how it works. Place in Q1, estimate time, three minutes. So yeah, see, this is how it looks like. So we have um, this, this is like 2v2t, what's the IP.org, and this is my proxy. And I don't connect to 2v2t, but I connect to my proxy. And let's hope I can reconnect. I can, okay, cool. So that that's always, that's the magic I was talking about. Um, but did I lose my horse? Or was the heck to find the horse again? I'm so fucking low. Uh, what was the heck to find the horse again? Um, mount, auto remount. Horse? Did I just lose my horse? That would be bad, right? That would be really sad. Ah, I should have unmounted. Yeah, well, yeah, that's how you learn, right? Um, how do I find entity? Entity tools. Um, I have to find radar. Hot editor. Um. Is this the middle and this me? Or where's the horse? Okay. Um, entity list. Yeah, there's a zombie pigman, but no horse. Yeah, I guess if the client doesn't see it, it won't show up in the radar. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't just lose my horse. Come on. Don't do this to me, bitch. The question now is how do I fucking disconnect then? <laughs> so. In case I have to panic, oh, so in the middle is me and the other ones are the pigments. Okay, now I get it. Um, so in case I have to panically disconnect because of whatever, I mean, it, it never really makes sense. Maybe if there's a creeper or whatever, but then I don't know, like in case I have to panically disconnect, whatever case that would be, um, that one doesn't do because I'm still connected. Uh, so I, I guess I would have to kill the proxy and so I, I kind of have to prepare to kill the proxy and I don't know what's the proper way to do this uh, but whatever anyways so did I fucking lose my horse are you kidding me this is madness okay let's let's leave the shit on <coughs> You have to be kidding me. Yeah, now I really have to go to the overworld. Oh, come on. I have to find another horse. Didn't it have like diamond armor and was like... Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I, I definitely have to check the issues like right now. Maybe there's something we can do. Yeah, what's next? I will die? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, so, horse. Three closed issues. Still problems after reconnecting.
What? What is he talking about? Where does it say horse? Okay, that's not bad. Spelled correctly. <laughs> Proxy caching. Desync issue. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm not quite sure if I should open an issue for that. Yeah. What happened here? What the fuck? How did that happen? Lucky me. What the fuck? How did I not die? Okay, so I don't find any open issue. Wow, I'm, am I tripping or am I like lower than usually? I mean, I, I'm without the horse and all, but like, boy, I'm low, right? Oh, fuck that. Okay, so I guess we have like, Two wins and one loss. So, win number one is the proxy is working. We have 2B2W set up and we can actually reconnect. So that's, that's a big win. The second win is we finally reached half an hour. So we are not affected anymore officially by um the the kicking thingy so we have plenty of play time that we can use to build a base and finally set a checkpoint and then there's this minor problem which is like a huge fuck up <laughs> that we lost the fucking horse due to like a reconnect or whatever so that will cost us travel time uh it's exposing us so we we die faster we are we are slower. We we have to eat, fuck. But um, I don't know. Maybe we can travel the overworld easier uh, without a horse, and we have to go to the overworld to find a new horse and uh, and build a base. We can we can make it work. <sighs> do I have food? Yeah, I do have food. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh how do I make the inventory transparent what are you kidding me the horse is back how did the fucking horse reappear out of nowhere are you shitting me okay I have to test I have to test something I have to I have to I have to boys this is it. <laughs> now I get like banned for entity cheating or whatever. 
Yeah, this was probably a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh no, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I knew it. Oh, something bad had to happen, right? Ah, oh, fuck me, I'm so stupid. I... I was pushing it. I was pushing it. Do you think it will get better if I reconnect again? Have we tried turning it on and off again? Oh, come on. What could possibly go wrong? What is this button, by the way? Vanilla server. How does it like, what, what, how, what, what does it even, who does, what is, where is this coming? What the fuck? Okay. We're back. Without the horse. Which doesn't matter because it will magically reappear. I'm, I'm confident. Should I auto remount quickly? Yeah, it's still active. Uh, I'm positive. Yeah. So, the interesting thing is that the server actually thought I don't have a horse. It's not like the server not sending me the information about the horse. Why do I act like I technically understand anything about Minecraft? I have no fucking idea how this game and the protocol and anything works. I'm just making estimation. Uh! Maybe it teleports me back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to understand how this works. I have to. So my coordinate is like Let's go to 420 to, to make it rememberable. So we are at 10, 5, 5, 5, 420. That's rememberable. If I now reconnect. Huh. So the auto. Okay. That's why I was actually not on my horse because my horse is where I left it, but I myself teleported back. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's a feature or a bag or a bag, <laughs> a feature or a bug or like what the heck is happening here. But it seems to teleport me holy shit how fucking far wait a minute D do you remember when i said it's not useful to disconnect in a situ situation where you want to disconnect this one might be even more useful than like fucking everything like like this might be more useful than disconnecting without the proxy let's say Shit's about to go down. I'm completely fucked and trapped in some situation. I can quickly reconnect and like travel back in time. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. This is this is hilarious. Look at this. Look at this. Wait. I, I have to prove a point to you guys. I will. I will die this episode. I'm. I'm like in such a. I have this like distance of time that I that I don't really remember the hard work I had to do to travel this highway the hard boring things and like I don't remember my death and everything it's uh, it's been so long that I feel I don't know so pushy I should really make a base before I like test this shit but I can like let's say this was bedrock and I'm fucked up and I'm like oh no worry I can escape this bedrock and then it doesn't work. Are you kidding me? How does it work? Is it like... Ha. Yeah, I almost dig down and was wanted to show you that I don't have to like... Climb stairs up again. So I have no idea how it works. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Okay. But now I know the dangers. Well, you, you, gotta, you gotta know. Let's... I think it makes sense to explore it in a somewhat safe environment. I mean, I don't have a base and everything, but well, I didn't die and like everything went fine. 
but now I know that when I disconnect and reconnect, I potentially get set back. Potentially. Uh, <laughs> um, and I don't know how far I get set back to which checkpoint based on which criteria I get reset. Is it based on time? Is it based on distance? Is it based on... Is it relative? Is it absolute? I don't know. Use the words to sound smart. Anyways, um, okay, now I know it's um, potentially dangerous, dangerous, potentially useful to to reconnect. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we have another trap. We have the trap of too bored to wait that I forget to uh, connect to the proxy when it uh, finishes the queue, and we have the other trap that I disconnect. And forget to turn off the proxy if I like if I don't get kicked by the server but actually rage quit um, hmm yeah I, I kind of have to keep that in mind oh no this proxy is probably fucking more things up than it's like enabling us to do I don't know if it has a good like uh, value risk uh, you know, trade-off relation, however it's called. I don't know, we will see, we'll see. Uh, maybe I should search the issues for like reset or... I don't know, is there something... Yeah, I first want to get my uh, UI to be... Uh, 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 I don't have my resource packs. Uh, my UI to be transparent. And I do that by getting my resource pack. I think there was an option on the client. I'm pretty sure there was an option on the client. But until I find it, I will. get my resource back yep. um, how fast does it okay instantly du, du, du. incompatible yeah we love it love to see it Functional. So my inventory is still this one isn't. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, whatever. I got it. Also, there's an option to like remove this fork, right? I think I found all the options at some point, actually in this client. Yeah, I, I should probably rewatch all the episodes. Uh, okay, so what I'm searching for is reset. Um, whole entire program won't work. How to reset, getting kicked. Does this still work? Possible connection reset, crashing after reconnecting too many times. Randomly get time or default server to which you can set phone and uh, unable to connect. Okay, mm. let's search for reconnect. Please help. Oh my gosh, this issue description. Okay, reconnect, then put me in queue again. Okay, can I set him? Able to connect. Mm. Proxy caching.
Okay, either I'm stupid or like nobody reported this. Oh, wait, why did I want to go to the overworld? Ah, yeah, to build a base. Um, either I'm stupid or no one else is having this issue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whoops, didn't want to do that. How safe is it to enter a portal? What could go wrong? Oh my gosh, I'm scared actually. I'm literally scared. Should I do a cut? It's 46 minutes already. I think I'll, I'll do a cut. Cliffhanger. See you in the next episode.